Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So I'm doing it desktop style because I didn't have time to set up the face cam. And also, um, I may have a trade in the works for this already uh, for a different variant. So uh, we'll see, because I actually did want a different version of this, and I'm now able to actually get it from somebody because somebody else wants to trade him for it, but he wants the one I have. It's a whole thing. But anyway... Um, it, this is the Brian Brown Raptor. At least it should be. I think that's wh whose uh, information was on here. Um, it was a guy on Reddit, Knife Swap, that I got it from. He does have an Instagram, which is at Impulsive Knife Nut. So please go check him out on Instagram. Uh, give him a follow. Uh, cool guy. He actually gave me uh, what I would perceive as a deal. Right now, these Raptors are going for, I don't know, like five, six, seven hundred sometimes on the secondary on in the Facebook group. Um, and he had this up for trade and he had a lot of offers and such. Um, and I ended up being able to get it off him for around, I think it was four hundred dollars. So uh, normally these are like three hundred and thirty or three fifty, something like that. So yeah, I overpaid, but uh, considering what the secondary market is, I did pretty well. So thank you um, to that guy. I believe his name is John, but I can't be certain. But uh, again, his Instagram handle, at Impulsive Knife Nut. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate uh, you helping me out there. I did unbox it. Uh, I cut the package earlier, uh, like two minutes ago. I, I had to restart the video because I kept saying the wrong shit um i kept saying i i did the face cam view instead of the desktop <laughs> i just did it backwards um and then i didn't have his instagram ready so that's why i restarted but anyway i cut it open with the civivi cogent button lock uh this thing's pretty cool guys it's growing on me the more i have it i just don't like the ergos at all i just don't like this area i wish i had more grip it just feels like I don't get enough grip on a three and a half inch knife. It's very weird. Um, all right. So it looks like you get a Brian Brown card. Let's see what you get. You get a sticker of the knife you bought. That's pretty cool. This is actually a sticker of the exact knife I bought, which is cool. Uh, you get a Brian Brown sticker, which is dope. You get a Brian Brown knives card, I guess. Here you go. It's got his information on it. Um, he did actually just do a Facebook and an Instagram video explaining that he is no longer doing custom orders. He actually is refunding anybody who had a, a custom spot. Uh, he was booked out like two years and it was just weighing on him. Um, he's a great guy. Uh, honestly, I've, I've uh, messaged with him a lot because I bought a... Vulcan bit driver off him and I had a couple issues but he's replaced the the same one like twice now for free um the guy is really cool he makes awesome knives and he's starting to kind of uh, lean towards production and the custom stuff was just kind of weighing on him a little bit and he couldn't handle having you know book spots out two years and I totally get that I mean I can understand how that could happen and he was very humble about it and apologetic um, more so than a lot of people are, and, you know, he'll take some flack for it, but he's going to rebound quickly, um, so, Brian, love you, man, you do awesome work, uh, and then here is a card of the actual knife I bought, and here we go, COA, Raptor VL, I guess, I don't know what that stands for, it's not a number, right, it's not six, Raptor six, VL, maybe, just means production or something, um, Blade M390, frames, tumble titanium with holes, accents, bronze, and oh. Thank you, Brian Brown. Awesome. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated for making cool knives. Now, guys, I didn't get in on this pre-order for a couple reasons. So, this was a pre-order. And um, it was back in, man, when was it? It was in the summer, I think. Early spring, or late spring, early summer, I believe. And, um... 
I had been pre-ordering knives left and right at the time, like the Osprey and the Thick Boy and Nimble, whatever. It was just a lot of knives. And this came out, and so did the Lucas P from Wear Knives. And they're both frame locks with thumb studs, and they're right hand only. And they're kind of, this one's a very thin handle. I just assume it's not going to work left handed. And I still think that and assume that. But I like the design a lot, so I really wanted to check it out. So uh, we'll see if it works. I mean, his Jaeger design is amazing, and that didn't really work left-handed. And I pre-ordered two more of those. So I, I don't know. I have a problem, I guess. But anyway, um, here we go. Raptor, Titanium with Holes, Dark Blast and Tumble, M390, Concave Grind, which means hollow, uh, satin finish, date 2021. You get a cool Brian Brown pouch with faux leather on it. And a knife, apparently. Um, no cloth or anything, but I care less about that, really. Put that aside, and here she is. So that's the knife, guys. Got that tumbled finish on the titanium bronze anno on the collar and the studs. Um dead nuts it looks like on centering it's riot so i believe it there's a little something on the spine there but it's probably just shit i'm gonna wipe off in a second so let me get alcohol ready all right so really cool uh, i guess this will serve as a first impressions as well um I mean, if I get another one, then I'll probably do another unboxing. But So it's your kind of standard Brian Brown clip. Um, I believe it's the same one as on the Jaeger. It's really tight, so I wonder how it goes in pocket. Yeah, I mean, even on my sort of sweatpants here, it's a little bit tight. Um, that's interesting. Uh, backspacer. You got the Brian Brown logo down here in the relief cut. And uh, that's really it. I mean, let's zoom out and let's see how she flicks. Do it right-handed. All right. Here is the blade. We have this beautiful M390 hollow ground blade with belt satin of course from riot beautiful spine right there let's wipe ah. let's wipe the knife down all right there we go so there it is. I mean, I just think it's an absolutely gorgeous design. Lockup looks solid. Steel insert. Oh, yeah. Very smooth. Left-hand thumb flick should be absolute money. Um, shouldn't be any concern on the thumb flick. Now, does turn out, found out from Brian, that this pivot is free-spinning. And it only is tooled on one side. That's kind of sad. Uh, I don't think he meant for that to happen. I think it just was a miscommunication of some sort. And that's how they came out. So you need to be pretty careful. You need to figure out a way to kind of put pressure on that while you turn it. Um, if you have issues, you could try putting it 90 degrees. Putting a little pressure on the blade. That might help you out. Uh, you know, unless it's loose it's not it's rock solid i guess i won't mess with this but i do love to put skiffs in my knives um at this point i'm not like positive about keeping it so i'm not gonna go crazy uh lefty reverse flick is probably not gonna happen because the clip is very small short i should say um and yeah i'd have to be all the way down there to do a reverse flick um thumb flick is pretty good ergos it's a little bit small to be honest or i guess it's not really what's the size of this let's take a look here's the uh axon this one we know is three and a half inches on the blade so 
Yeah, what are we looking at? Three and a quarter. I know that this is 3.3, .3, the Osprey EDX. So I would probably say it's about 3.4 inches on the blade length. Not quite three and a half and not quite three and a 3.3. .3. So I don't know. So it's not small by any means, but ergonomically i mean it fits my hand pretty well and you can choke up onto here and then you have a sort of thumb poon spoon ramp sort of thing right here um right-handed it, it's pretty thin right that's kind of the thing with this um but it feels pretty good like i could cut pretty well with it uh, we might as well grab some paper and give that a, a test Edge feels pretty damn good. Yeah, that feels really good, especially in that sort of choked up grip. Back here, still excellent. So definitely a good cutter. Um, where'd my trash can go? There we go. All oh, right, I wanted to test something out. Um, when I zoom in, does my voice get louder? So Jared Neve said that when I zoom in, my voice gets louder. I'm not going to move. I'm just going to keep talking. I'm talking about Jared Neve, talking about me zooming in and how my voice gets louder when that happens. And now I'm zooming out. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but now we have a test. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, so here's, uh, I don't know. I'm not getting like, for me personally, I'm not getting like, as um, Wrangler Star would say, I'm not getting the fizz right now from this guy. Um, I like it. I think it's cool. I, I just think it's really thin, maybe for my hand. I like a knife that fills it out more. But then again, I'm in love with this knife right now. <laughs> I don't think it's any thicker. I mean, maybe slightly thicker. I guess a little bit, but... I'm actually ordering a custom clip for this so that it comes over to this side and up here. And then as a lefty, I should be able to, you know, get a reverse flick going. Maybe we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. And I mean, ergonomically, they wouldn't be much different, I wouldn't think. I mean, this just fits my hand extremely well. No choke up, though. Fits really well. Um, yeah, it's just a little different. Just doesn't quite, you know. But up here is really comfortable. So, you know, it's kind of a trade-off right there. The action, I mean, it's definitely good. That's for sure. Uh, can I somehow make a flick happen from up here? I hate the, just can't get enough leverage on the stud. I mean, I could put my thumb on the pivot. That would work. Um, but it's not really like, you know, super fun or anything. Um, I'm surprised the righty thumb flick works so well because I would think that I'd be locking it up. But it doesn't seem to lock it up. I'm on that lock bar. So how come the lefty reverse flick causes issues then? Can't get it out. That's what she said. I don't know. That's interesting. I'm going to put... I'm going to put a dot. KPL heavy. Guys, shout out to KPL. You can use my code lefty10 at knifepivotlube.com. I'm just going to put a little bit of heavy right on the detent ball. Let's see what happens. Because we're pretty close to being droppy here. And that usually can help a lot. I don't want to mess with the pivot because obviously it's that free spinning uh, variety, which, you know, it's a bummer kind of that that's like that. But yeah, I don't know if skips would help this action or not. Um, there we go. Definitely gliding a little more now, breaking in. Probably just needs to wear a path as well. So it'll probably become more drop shutty, you know. Um, but yeah, she's out of the box. Um, 
So basically, there's a trade on the table. It seems like I can't guarantee it. Seems like there's a trade on the table for the full titanium with blue accents, I think it is, or silver accents, and no speed holes, and still a satin blade. And I think I would prefer that. I mean, as long as the action and everything is similar to this, um, and the centering and all of that good stuff. Luckily, the guy who has it, I trust. Um, I This is growing on me, guys. I just... Some knives you just like the look of. You know, you make some adjustments. You make some... Like, it's not like I need to make adjustments. It fits my hand. It's just a little skinny. And this is excellent. So, you know, it's more or less me not being able to reverse flick it lefty. And I can find a spot and learn. And that usually works um i mean that's what i do with this guy i put my thumb like all the way up here and then i get in the fuller and i flick it out like that um and it i mean that's terrible i mean that's probably worse than that i can also climb all the way down here at the bottom and get it out but it's not fun so what i do is i right hand reverse flick it and then left-handed I use the stud to flick it, or I use the excellently dialed flipper tab. But because this thing is so sexy and does that, I just don't care, right? Now, this is $640, and it does not have a detent ball track um, or ramp, which is terrible. This doesn't either, apparently. But you can see it's a much earlier break. So let me show you the angles. So that's the knife vertical, right? Let's see. Eh, might be similar, but you can see the blade on the Raptor is on a much better angle than the Satori. So this needs to come down a lot more before it passes the detent. So you can easily get caught there a lot, right? Whereas on this, I didn't get caught one time. There's also no flipper tab, so that helps a lot. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it again. The more I'm sitting here handling it, uh, the more I'm liking it. So that's good. I think I do want the other version though. So I may be shipping this right back out. Uh, I may, no, I don't want to know. I was going to say, I may ask the guy to send it to me and then I can see which one I like better. My biggest problem with this is you see the holes at the bottom there. What's happening is my finger is literally going inside the hole. And I don't know if, I mean, if my finger was in there and that blade, yep, that edge is smacking my finger. Um, and that was just naturally me holding the knife. Look, my finger is just riding in there. So I could accidentally freaking chop my finger off. Um, I just hate when speed holes are this big. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people like them. So that's the Brian Brown Raptor, guys. I really like this knife. Um, you know, I, st I st oh, my finger was in there too. Um, I started off lukewarm on this guy and it's growing on me. I really want to test it on some jeans though, because that clip feels blah, really, really tight. Um, I think he's doing a drop of like Moku Tai and Timascus stuff today. So you know, try to get in on that or get a custom clip or just if the clip don't work, you know, uh, it don't work, but I don't have any jeans here to test. I have, uh, like a Hank or whatever we could test it on. Shout out to River's Edge Cutlery. So, I mean, I got it on. It just required oof, a lot of pressure there. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I don't mind if I have to push the knife in a little bit, as long as it goes in pretty easily. Um, but if I'm having to like lift the clip off and do all that shit, then I'm out, you know? That kills a knife for you. Wow, look at that action now. It's just like, yeah. Um, all right, it's out of the box. Brian Brown, Raptor, really cool knife. I'm excited to have one uh, because I didn't get it on the pre-order and I regretted it immediately and the one i would have ordered is the one i think i might be trading for so but this one i don't know i just the whole man that scares me man because i literally it's like an instinct for me to sh shove my finger in there and it's basically a cigar cutter i wonder if you could use it as 
don't know. I'm being an idiot now. All right. I love you guys. Uh, awesome design, Brian. Killed it again. Um, couple, you know, nitpicks. The whole, the spinning pivot and the clip seems a little tight, but you know, every knife's not going to be perfect, and this feels amazing. The action is incredible. Um, I love that choked up grip, and this blade is just exceptional. Uh, that's going to be a great, great EDC cutter. So, uh, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later so i want to add a caveat here guys the speed hold oh, the speed hold thing it only sucks because i'm left-handed so i hold the knife and then you know you go to close it and my finger kind of slides in there as i'm closing it but if you think about it right-handed you're not doing that there's no holes. So that gripe really, I mean, this is not made for lefties at all, really. So that gripe kind of is nullified there, I guess. I just wanted to kind of add that if anybody saw that and thought, man, I maybe shouldn't get one of these. It only matters if you're left-handed. Um, and I think I am going to do that trade. So I, I'm going to have the satin one coming with the full tie. So it won't even be a problem. Uh, but that's another reason if you're left-handed... Try to get a, a full titanium version. Don't get one with the holes. Because um, it does work right-handed just fine. There's no issue there. Um, so I just wanted to make that clear because I kind of was harping on that a little bit. Um, yeah. Anyway, peace.